Hi, I'm Bug Farmer, and I've got a problem. I've got a big problem. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a hive beetle right there. The big goner. Oh, there's another one right there. Another one right there. They're all coming up right here. Okay. Let's give them the old smasheroni right there. Oh, we have quite a few hive beetles in here. Oh. Oh, 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 no. I've got a hive beetle problem. Eh, now, if you followed my channel for some time, you know that I'm always battling the hive beetles, so much so that I've sometimes made fun of myself and called myself the beetle farmer. I've got a lot of hive beetles that get into my apiary, and I've experienced them ever since, I don't know, my second season beekeeping. That's when I first found them. Or I guess it would be more apt to say that that's when they found me. But I've tried multiple methods of getting rid of the hive beetles. I've tried everything um, from the guardian entrances, and those didn't work for me. I don't know whether or not they work for me for you, but they, they just don't do the trick for me. They still keep coming in and, and destroying my hives. Um, I have tried solid bottom boards instead of screen bottom boards. That way the beetles couldn't fly up through the bottom. I've, I've, I've screened off all of my entrances to the hives to try to keep these things out, and I just can't do it. So then I went from a preventative measure, trying to keep the beetles out of the hives, to actually trying to catch the beetles once they've gotten into the hives. I think the first thing that I started out with were beetle traps, you know, the oil traps. And I've put those in the hives, and then I've lost a lot of bees because I keep spilling the oil traps. Oh no, that thing is slap filled with beetles. Look at that. Holy moly. And this hive has no other entrance other than the Guardian and the screen bottom board. I'm starting to think that the, the, the problem is the screen bottom board. That's got to be what's causing this. So that was a no-go for me. I stopped using those unless there's an extreme emergency. And lately I've been having some extreme emergencies, but I've not gone back to the oil traps yet because I'm trying something new and I'm going to share that with you today. Um, I've also come up with the Beetle Smasher 2000. So that makes it a good time for me to introduce you to the Beetle Smasher 3000. Now this tool, this one tool, the Beetle Smasher 3000, will slice them, dice them, smash them, crush them. It fits perfectly inside of a cell and can be found in an ordinary set of Allen wrenches. But there you go, this is the Hive Beetle Smasher 3000. Some of you have seen the Beetle Smasher 2000. Well, it's just an Allen wrench that fits perfectly down inside the comb. That way, if I saw a beetle on the comb, I could smash the beetle, leave its carcass down in the bottom, and the bees would clean that out, and it would all be good. And I wouldn't have to use my hive tool to actually destroy the comb. Um, after the Beetle Smasher 2000, what did we do? We tried the killing board. Now, I don't know whether you not you've ever seen my videos with a killing board, but I have a piece of plywood in my, in my apiary, and I would shake out the frames onto the piece of plywood and then when the beetles would run around I would smash the beetles one at a time and that would eliminate a lot of beetles from the hive but I was never able to get all of them. Oh these girls have a serious hive beetle problem but it appears to be all in their bucket. Today, today I'm going to unveil, it's not the Beetle Smasher 2000, it's an upgrade. We're going to unveil the Beetle Sucker 5000. We're going to show you how it works. Now this is my new weapon against hive beetles. This is the Beetle Sucker 5000. Let me let you have a closer look. So my goal today when I leave this bee yard, I want to make sure that I've captured every single beetle and every single hive in this device. Now I hope that it works. Now I've tested it back at the other apiary and on a few hives, specifically the Marines hive. You saw me go through that hive last week and move it into a bee castle box. I've still not brought it over here. Um, but I did use this last week on that hive and this works wonders. Now there's a very small hole in the end of it and that allows me to capture the beetles but not necessarily capture bees. However, one or two bees did get sucked in here. They were fine. I let them fly free when we were done, um, but none of the beetles got away. And I'll put a picture on the screen of the number of beetles that I took from the Marines hive last week. I have a feeling in the bee yard today, it's gonna be a little bit more than that. Let's, uh, let's get our gear on, the smoker lit. Let's get started. All right, this is the day that Bug Farmer strikes back. Now we're gonna start right here in hive number 20 just where we were last week, and we're gonna completely remove every single beetle that I can find in this hive. 
that is my goal that is my plan and then depending on how this one goes i'm going to try to eliminate all of the beetles all right let's see what we got take this off take this off and give them a little spritz of smoke hello i'm here to help today show me the beetles i want to see them pop out just like they did last week same area oh there they are oh That was wonderful. We just captured ourselves a ton of hive beetles right out of the right out of the gate. Let's show you what I got so far. All right. I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of them on here. We're gonna try to take care of them. Post haste. Oh, there's a bunch of them right there. That was a ton of hive beetles, but we're making progress. All right, let's go down. Oh, there's a bunch of them. That is very satisfying. Let's go right down to the bottom. Oh, look at that. Holy moly. I don't know how this hive is alive. Now we've eliminated 99.999% of all the hive beetles that were in this hive. Excellent. That was amazing. Now we need to see how many hive beetles we caught. Let's, uh, let's empty this out. This is soapy water.
Let's hope this hive is not in the same shape. Maybe all the beetles in this whole area went into that hive. It's unlikely, but we can, we can always hope. All right, here we go. Okay, no hive beetles on the top. That's a, that's a good sign. Okay, we have a few. We have a few coming out. Nothing like that last one. Are there any on this side? Let me at them. Alright. Here we go. There's one. There you go, there's two. Ugh. Oh, there's a hive beetle. Or three. All right. Beautiful. All right, so I tell you what, we are not going to go through the rest of this video sucking up beetles from beehives. I am going to do that after I say goodbye, and I will show you what my take is at the very end, how many beetles we actually harvested from the Bee Castle Bee Yard. But let me tell you, this thing is worth its weight in gold and worth all the time I spent thinking this thing up and, and putting it together, because the number of beetles that we removed from hive number 20 was amazing. I didn't even think there were that many in there, and that's after I killed a bunch of them two weeks ago. I don't know whether that's the beetle magnet for the whole bee yard or what, but I tell you what, more beetles than I could ever imagine in there and now they're swimming in soapy water. So what I will do when I'm done going through the rest of the apiary and giving them their apivar strips, and I am going to go back and give the apivar strips to 20, but when I'm done going through the rest of this bee yard, giving them their apivar strips and removing beetles, I will put a scene at the very end after I say goodbye, which I'm doing right now, and show you exactly what my harvest was of hive beetles from this bee yard today. So with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and, and have fun. So with all that said, be happy. And I will see you next week. Take care. Mm -hmm.